Hi, boys and girls. This story is called Everybody Sleeps But Not Fred. Everybody Sleeps But Not Fred. Every kind of bird and beast in the West and in the East, way up high and way down deep, everybody has to sleep. But not Fred. Fred has a to-do list you wouldn't believe. In the jungle, toucan snooze, also sloths and cockatoos. Ignoring snoring striped hyenas, monkeys dream their ballerinas. But not Fred. Fred has important jumping to do. On the farm, the chickens doze, the pigs nod off in stinky rows. Sheep lie in a woolly heap, count themselves and fall asleep. But not Fred. Fred is breaking the world shouting record. Neath the ocean, whales relax, leaking bubbles fore and aft. Rocked by currents in the deep ocean creatures go to sleep. But not Fred. Fred is testing his horn collection. In their bunk beds underneath, underground, tired ants have settled down. Now too late to grab a snack, ant eaters all hit the sack, but not Fred. Fred is practicing his karate chops. Scary things that lurk and slink stop all that for 40 winks. Like other creatures not here listed, monsters too, if they existed but not Fred. Fred is hunting the legendary Sasquatch. Having read a book or three, parents turn to poetry. Reading from a book so boring, children soon are prone and snoring, but not Fred. Fred? Tomorrow, Fred will run about and chop and jump and hunt and shout, but please, for now, don't make a peep. Just close the book and let Fred sleep. Warning, close book softly or Fred will wake up and start all over again. And that's the end of the story. Hope you enjoyed it.